There is a story surfacing that is leaving many with mixed emotions. Matt Barnes, former NBA player from 2004 to 2017 and current host of All the Smoke with Stephen Jackson, could potentially be the victim of deceitful framing of a tweet on social media or just in the wrong. In this video via stop motion sport, Barnes is seen yelling in the direction of play at his son's high school game in California. The second piece of video shows Barnes with his hand on a student broadcaster's shoulder who appears to be on the phone. Many in the crowd start standing and pointing at Barnes, waving goodbye at him. Here is what we know thus far. Working. Barnes had a bit of a flop. There's no whistle. And Seth Perry gets fouled. Wow. crowd didn't really like that one. Barnes had some choice for the ref after the no call on the flop. And that's a technical. Yeah, I mean, he, uh, and I think, well, so there's a technical on Barnes, but he also said he gave one to Fisher, maybe. I'm not sure. Wow. But, and then, oh, wow. Well, Matt Barnes now is out onto the floor, or not on the floor, he's right on the side of the floor, just screaming, you're an ex <laughs> expletive. Oh, my God. To, uh, <laughs> Jake, I have never seen <laughs> I mean, I've never seen anything like this right now. I mean, <laughs> that's ridiculous. He's out onto the floor right now, and just no one's doing anything about it. I get he's an NBA player, yeah, but I mean, at a certain point, like, well, what? I mean, I don't, I don't think that's yeah. Jake Lancer and his co-host said this on the broadcast. Um, Matt Barnes kind of came up and just put his short hands on me, actually. So, I mean, I'm all good, but I, it's kind of, I don't know. This crowd is just, this, yeah. Barnes is then seen talking to what is presumed to be officials of one of the competing teams on the Harvard Westlake broadcast. There would be more video that has gone viral on the social medium Twitter of Barnes appearing to have a conversation with Lancer. After the game, Jack Pollan, a freelance prep writer in the state of California, he would speak with Lancer, who said this guy was on the court mid-game multiple times, screaming ridiculous stuff at the refs and everyone, including myself. Was looking at him, we made eye contact, and that was enough for him to come up to me and grip my shoulder with his hand. He said, what do you think you're looking at? And I said, you're screaming your a term for a private part to the refs mid game while I'm trying to announce don't touch me and then he said I'll slap the blank out of you Lancer would even write on Twitter after all of this happened just got my hands put on at a high school basketball game not okay Eric Sonheimer of the LA Times would put in his write up that was given amplification let's say by none other than the ringers bill simmons it got weird in the third quarter when the son of former nba player matt barnes carter barnes picked up a technical foul then his dad started engaging student announcer jake lancer during the school's live stream broadcast by putting his hands on lancer to get his attention briefly delaying the game barnes as we know never one to necessarily back down has fired off some shots of his own on twitter here they are. When Jessica Oliva wrote, what you all are failing to report is Barnes going up to our broadcaster, a high school senior, grabbing his shoulder while questioning what he's saying on the live stream after he calls the ref a B multiple times because his son got a technical foul. Barnes would fire back, shut your blank up. I was talking to the ref, not you or that kid that decided to say some slick blank. Don't let that privilege Harvard Westlake blank go to your head. IDGAF who your son is. Jason Anderson of the SAC B was also in the former NBA player's sites. After Anderson's column went live, Barnes tweeted at him, you weak a-holes are always trying to tell one side of the story. Called you to hear your side of the story, Anderson replied. We just wrote what's already been widely reported and what's on video, nothing personal. You know how to reach me if you want to talk. You reach out after the fact, F you, Barnes jab. Anderson didn't back down. One of my colleagues has been trying to reach you the past few days, and I've reached out as well. 
Again, we will tell your side of the story if you tell us your side of the story. You, the person who wrote the story, reached out this morning, and I answered, don't play with me. The damage is done. The headline is out there. If you really cared about the whole story, you would have called me like you did this morning, wrote Barnes. My hometown owes at least that much. You know I was just inducted into the Sacramento Sports Hall of Fame on Sunday. And on Tuesday, this is the next headline my hometown sees about me. That's blanked up. You knew exactly what you were doing. And then he puts the writer's hand up in there. But you wanted the whole story after the facts and headlines. Harvard Westlake would tweet afterwards, Harvard Westlake is proud of Jake Lancer and the poise he showed on Friday night under unusual circumstances. Jake's calm demeanor and professional focus are unparalleled in high school journalism, and we are honored he is our lead commentator on HWTV. From Deadspin, Barnes' son plays for Crespi, who is led by former Knicks coach Derek Fisher. Crispy lost to Harvard Westlake 72-54, who won their fifth straight Mission League title. If there is any story that we missed or any story that you would like to submit, get at me. I will throw up the graphic here. Get at me on Twitter, on Instagram, on TikTok. Send me a message. Send me a DM. And again, there are only so many hours in a day. There could be stuff that we missed or even on the local level that you want us to cover. Get at us. Submit it to us. We'll take a look. Appreciate you watching. Have a good day.